Okay, let's get right into it. So uh, this is our, our first official, our first official couple scope. We're bringing back the the, the the business talk that we used to do on, on YouTube. We want to bring it to a Periscope. So. Good morning, everyone. I'm Sheena, coaching oh, your <laughs> virtual business coach from CoachSheena.com, hanging out with the hub and co-host, Dominic Brown, licensed financial advisor and realtor from true, YourFinancesSimplified.com and DMBTeam.com. So we've run a business together since around 2009, and although our business is profitable now, we wish we had people we can kind of bounce questions off of and to mentor us. So we did not have that in the beginning. We kind of want to bring that to you guys. So, you know, if you have a desire to start a business and, you know, we can we know there's a lot of information out there that can make running a business a little bit more complicated than it is. And since we actually run a successful business now, we feel as though we have a lot of war stories that we could talk to you about. So um, we're not branding coaches. We're not business coaches with no business. We actually run a business that's, that's profitable. And we want to talk about those things to hopefully bridge the gap that is taking you to start your business or get your business off the ground. So I deal exclusively in sales, financial sales with people, helping them improve their credit, helping improve their financial situation. And Coach Gina helps me with that as well because we are co-owners of our financial planning firm. Yes. So we wanted to, first of all, for you guys who are not familiar with Periscope, please do us a favor. Double tap the screen means you're showing us love. Um, click that's the, what those hearts are. That's what the hearts are, locking the love. Click the little man, swipe to the left, swipe to the right, share this to Twitter, Facebook, and, and things like that so people kind of get on this one. But another thing we want to tell you is that in my Periscope bio, there's a link that you can ask us questions. So we, we're literally going to create a resource for you to ask your questions so we can do a Periscope about it. The question that we have today literally came from someone on the uh, last Periscope. And the question of the day was, what do you do when your family and friends do not support your business idea? So... Coach, let's, let's leave with this one. Um, what happens when a, a family member or a friend, someone you might have known for quite a while, doesn't believe in you? They don't want to. They don't want you to win. They don't want you to be successful. You know, that's always a difficult situation. It's mm -hmm. never easy to deal with, especially because, you know, when it comes to your business, I'm sure you're emotionally invested in it. You're financially invested in it. You know, it, like building a business is kind of like, stop, you know, birthing a kid, right? Mm -hmm. So you have dreamed about this day for forever. So it's definitely a hard circumstance to deal with. However, I'm of the belief that, you know, I'd rather show you than um, tell you about it anyway. So I set goals and I move in silence when it comes to my business. And I think that that's one of the best ways to really prove your work, your weight and gold. Sometimes people get caught up in all the, what you used to do. Sometimes people right. get caught up. Like you can't in, change. Right. And sometimes <laughs> people get caught up in the things that you have started and stopped. If you're a perpetual um, person who likes to get started in things, but don't see them through, mm -hmm. you know, you can't be mad at somebody for holding your feet accountable to this new thing. So it's not a matter of um, being upset with anybody. It's a matter of showing and prove. I can always and have always shown people better than I can tell them anything. So, in, in the beginning, it is, like, like Coach alluded to, it is very hard to convince the people that have, have seen you grow up, have seen you fail several times, have seen you to be successful in some things, because a, a lot of times, you being successful lets them know that they might have failed short. Yeah, it right? definitely... So you could, you could grow up with somebody in the same neighborhood, went to the same schools, but they may not be happy that you... Uh, graduated college recently because they didn't go to college. You know, that's just like really blowing up their shortfalls. And so right. um, nobody you, you wants being to great means take, they should have been great too. <laughs> right. And if you could do it, mean they had the capability of doing it. And, you know, a lot of times, regardless of who they are in your life, people like to live on their excuses. People like to, you know, justify and hold on to that rather than take action. So you proving them wrong, it, that's essentially what you're doing by actually accomplishing that goal. So... Right. So you, you kind of got to sometimes you got to take a step back and say, wow, where, where is this coming from? Mm -hmm. Right. Because to you, this is this could be life changing. Starting your business, you're solving a problem for somebody you're helping along. So you might want to be honest and ask them, well, why don't you support me? Why don't you want me to be happy? Why don't you why don't you support this dream of mine? And then sit back and listen to what they say. And it, it may not be you. It, it, it could be them. It's, it can be, sometimes it can be less about you and more about them. Your ambi your ambition can be intimidating, but other times you do need to look into what you have brought into the situation. I'm a firm believer that sometimes we give people the story um, of our lives. Sometimes we play the victim in certain, yeah, we'll the certain circumstances. Sometimes we... Um, we quit before we even give things 100%. And people see that. People actually watch that. So it's two-sided for me. It's one, take inventory of, is that their truth or your truth? Two, mm -hmm. you also want to make sure that um, you've been fully committed. If you haven't given them a reason to believe, not to believe you or to support you in this, then maybe it is something to do with them. But you also have to take accountability in some of it, too. Now, let's transition from, okay, they don't support me to they don't support me now what, right? So you're not going to have 100% support. Um, 
Jesus had haters. <laughs> the, every, pre- every, every, every president <laughs> had a hater, right? So most, yes. so every, so your boss has a hater. So some people are just not going to like you, but you need to move like, okay, and what? Now, I'm a firm believer that, as Coach Sheena alluded to, it's one thing to say you want to start a business, and it's another thing to follow through with the steps that are needed to be successful. You need to move and you need to move successfully anyway. Yes, it takes a lot to start a business. And you convince people, here's the thing, guys. One thing you guys don't see, one thing that a lot of us business owners out here out here telling you is half or if not all of our family and friends didn't believe in us as, at first either. So don't let us come out here and tell you like somebody is always going to be on your bandwagon. Every last one of us had to prove our weight and mm-hmm. gold as well too. And family and friends are typically the last, last people, guys, last people to buy from you. You know, you will have yeah, customers. Yeah, your family is last. You will buy. have customers from every other direction. Strangers will support you before family exactly. does. Exactly. So to, to give it a, a real example, when I launched, when we launched the, the financial planning business, not one family member signed up, not one not family member gave input. It wasn't until we were overly successful on a social media standpoint, we were overly supported by strangers that family says, hey, I see what you're doing over there. That's awesome. But they didn't come over and say, hey, I want to buy at full price. It was more right. so, hey, can you hook me up with this? Right. Stuff? So they will eventually come around, but it, it's, it's more so for selfish reasons at the or, end of the day as well. You know, no one offered to be a test case initially. No one offered to do any of that things. It was us getting out there hustling that actually made it, made them realize this is a real thing. You know, some people can't, people can't see past their own um, circumstances and accomplishments right. sometimes. So sometimes all they know is getting a GED. All they know is working for someone else until retirement. All they know is, you know, putting money in a 401k. They don't know what it's like to do some of the things right. that we're doing. So don't get so caught up in taking it personally. Right. Instead, start taking action towards your dream. <laughs> because it's the thing, you have to push on anyway. Right? Exactly. So there is there is high level, then there's eye level. Most people you grew up with, most people who knew you are looking at the eye level. You are looking beyond the eye level. You are here. They they don't understand. If they are, if this was the jungle and you're a giraffe, they're turtles. Y'all in the same jungle. Y'all came from the same spot, but y'all got two different points of views, two different perspectives. Your co your current co-workers aren't going to support you. Your current friends who, who you just hang out with last weekend are not going to support they you. Don't understand. You need to push forward because you are solving a problem for people. You cannot disrespect the people who need you by stopping because someone you love gave their opinion. You got to move forward, period. All day. And that stuff just makes you stronger. That honestly makes you stronger. So so let's do this because we can break this point a lot, man. Uh, <laughs> right. We, we, we want to remind you guys that in my Periscope bio, you can go to um, click the link and you can literally ask a business question, which we're going to do a Periscope about our video about, and we're going to send it to you in email format. The, um, once you ask your business question, the very first video we're going to send you is uh, the business mistake that cost us $250,000. So we went through several mistakes that, in our business that over the course of a couple of years cost us about a quarter of a million dollars. So if you click the link in our Periscope bio to ask your business question, we're going to do a video about it. So let's do this. We want to turn it over to you guys in the comments because we, we love you guys asking questions on the spot and we love answering questions on the spot. So double tap that stream and then I kind of want to hear what questions you guys have about starting your business or places where you're stuck at currently. And when you're surrounded by doubt and when you're surrounded by people who don't support you, you need to learn to really change your circle of influence. You need to learn to step outside of the box. You need to, there's so much out in this virtual space where you can get motivated to get Absolutely. started, where you can Absolutely. find encouragement, where you can be virtually Dom and Sheena, like two black millionaires friends. So you don't have to get stuck in that. You're telling yourself that you have to get stuck in that, but you need to go out and seek encouragement or get what you need from somebody from where you need it from. So, oh, that's a great-